Donald Trump is safe after gunshots have been heard at his Florida golf course on Sunday. A source within the Secret Service source said a suspect was spotted on the periphery of the golf course with a high-powered rifle. Secret Service agents fired and the source dropped the gun and fled. Agents fired multiple times at the suspect, who tried to run away, the sources said, adding that a suspect is now in custody and a weapon has been recovered. In an email to his supporters, Trump said he was safe and well. There were gunshots in my vicinity, but before rumors start spiraling out of control, I wanted you to hear this first, I am safe and well. The email said. Nothing will slow me down. I will never surrender. I will always love you for supporting me, Trump stated. Attorney General Merrick Garland has been briefed on the security incident involving former President Donald Trump in Florida Sunday, according to the Department of Justice. DOJ spokesperson Dina Iverson said Garland is monitoring the situation and is receiving regular updates following the security incident at the Trump International Golf Club. We had a beautiful victory three months ago, and then a couple of nights ago, we had an even better victory. We took her on. Comrade Kamala Harris. So California, vote for Trump. And you're going to have water, and you're going to have growth, and you're going to have prosperity. And all those people that are leaving are going to really come back. Thank you very much. Thank you. Steve Garvey. Why not? Why have you not endorsed Will you endorse Steve, Steve Garvey? Garvey? Will you endorse Steve Garvey? Shut down if Johnson can't get the state back. U.S. President Joe Biden on Saturday told an awards dinner in Washington that, God willing, Kamala Harris will become the first woman president of the United States of America. Harris also spoke at the dinner, which was sponsored by the Congressional Black Caucus Foundation. Biden, speaking to the crowd right before her, talked about Harris as the first black and South Asian woman vice president, and said, God willing, she will become the first woman president of the United States of America. across my administration, including the former chair and the former HUD secretary, Marsha Fudge. If my predecessor calls the insurrectionists who stormed the Capitol on January 6th hatred, when peaceful protesters march for justice for George Floyd, Trump wanted to send in the military, but they wouldn't go. He says immigrants, black and brown immigrants, poison the blood of our country. Right now, his running mate is attacking Haitian Americans in Ohio. It's wrong. It's got to stop. Any president should reject hate in America and incite, not incited. Folks, we're in this battle for the soul of the nation. We have to preserve our democracy. We must speak out against lies and hate. Toll for power and profit. We must show up. We must look to the future. And I'm looking to you to help lead the way, to help push us forward, to be the country we say we are, a country of freedom, justice, and equality, proving that black history is American history. And black excellence is American excellence. Kamala and I received 81 million votes in 2020. The most ever, led by, and God willing, she'll become the first woman of the United, President of the United States of America. And Akeem will become the first black speaker of the House. The folks who have work to do, my challenge to you is to keep the faith, to do the work, because we know faith without works is dead. Together we've delivered one of the most extraordinary four years. The last four years, I've been honored to stand by a true partner who 
subless lead to the horizon of freedom. A journey for character and public life still matters in America. Kamala Harris meets the highest standards of character. I've served with her. I know her. I trust her. And I'll be proud to stand in the steps of the United States Capitol and watch her take the oath of office as President of the United States of America. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Kamala Harris for the people.